Good morning YouTube. I'd like to welcome you back to the homestead for our second part in the series on mason beekeeping. If um, you're hearing the wind, I'm sorry I don't have a very good camera for uh, filming outdoors. But today what we're going to do is we're going to be installing the bee house for the mason bees. And uh, what they recommend is, is that you mount the house in such a way that the opening here is facing to the east. Um, if you do not know the orientation of your property, uh, you can easily uh, find out by just using a compass. Or else, if you don't have a compass, just fix a nice hot cup of coffee, go out to the garden, and wait for the sun to rise. And then uh, merely just face the opening of your bee house towards the rising sun, and you'll be close enough to east. But uh, as you remember from the building video, it mounts with a key slot, which is on the back. I have already put the screw into the post that I'm mounting here. As you notice, it's 11 o'clock in the morning here. You can see the sun is against the post. And here, which would be the north side, you can tell it's still shady. I already knew what the orientation was to the property here. But once you put your screw in, you're just going to insert it through the uh, slot here and push down. And it is on. For extra security, they give you a little hole there. And so I'm going to go ahead and put an anchoring screw in it. That way it won't rise up and come off the key slot. There it is in place. Now the next thing to do is to insert the tubes that they, the bees will actually be laying their uh, eggs in. And like I said in, an er in the earlier video, the way mason bees work is they lay their female eggs first and then they lay the uh, male bees towards the opening ends. But what you have here is you have the openings that they're using, the other ends closed, so you'll insert the closed ends to the back of the house. I'm going to go ahead and leave the rubber band on these just because it creates a little more friction so birds don't pull them out. And I'm going to take a minute to pull this camera off the tripod and give you a better view. So as you can see, the tubes are in place. And it's all set to go. All we have to do now is wait for the bees to come out in the spring and the bee house is ready for them. Uh, what you'll want to do is come in here probably the first part of June, mid-June, check the tubes to see which ones have been filled. If they're filled, get them out of there and replace them with fresh tubes for the uh, summer variety of mason bees. But they will help pollinate the uh, fruit trees we have here, the grape arbors that we have here, plus the other uh, crops that we do raise here. Uh, almost everything I do is container gardening with the exception of the apples and the grapes. And um, we will be releasing a, a series of videos throughout the spring and summer showing uh, container gardening. So I hope this is, you found this informative. Please always feel free to email me or drop me a line if you have a question. If I have an answer, I will answer it. If not, maybe I can send you in the right direction. Appreciate you coming today. Appreciate you subscribing. Have a great day and happy gardening. Doc Wilkie out.